All right, guys. Here's a quick video, more like a weather stripping update. So, here's my box from Steel Rubber. I'm very happy with the products, but I'm not very happy with the purchase prices. But here's the problem: you can't really get them anywhere else. These pieces right here, by themselves, were $130. This seems a little extreme, but you know it is what it is. So, um, these little baby pieces right here. They were 53 bucks a piece. And then here's the dividers for the vent window. So, um, if you look at this one, there's the old one that was on the car. And then here's the new one that's going to replace it. It went right here. And you can tell that was probably letting quite a bit of water in. So let's go ahead and replace it. So here's the new one. Kind of has to be bent in place. It has a metal backing in it. So. The real reason why supposedly this is a $60 piece of rubber is not because it costs that much to produce, it's not because anything like that. The real reason why is because they can. How many people have sedan DeVille's? Eh, not very many and a lot of these weather stripping pieces are unique to the, this car. And so for like the five people that own them, they can charge what they want. And that's what they do. Kind of a rip, but that's the way it works. So what it does, this one catches water and goes all the way down there instead of going inside your car, which is what has been happening for a long time. So something to know before you buy a Cadillac like this if you have somewhere to keep it inside, do it, or else you're going to have to spend $1,300 or so just on weather stripping, which to me is really, that's pretty stupid. I don't see why it should be should be cost that much at all. Alright, and there's that. Fairly easy. Hopefully it'll leak less. That'd be nice. Here's another leak point. You can see all the way into the car. So, the new piece for that. Here it is. So here's the new piece. This is the way it installs in the car. So, if you look inside there, that part on the top, it kind of tucks into those grooves on the, on the actual window. And just rides up and down with that. So we'll go ahead and put that one in too. So this is like ancient and super rock hard. The thing about this weather stripping is a lot of the original stuff it came back with fabric. I don't know why. Roof rails did the same thing. That's how they made it back then, I guess. Cadillac quality. Well, this is a lot harder to get out than I thought it was going to be. Most of the other weather stripping just kind of crumbled and fell apart. It was pretty tough. I'm just working the screwdriver back and forth in order to kind of just pull this metal core out because that's really all that holds this in. And once I get this out, you need to check these side edges for any leftover because you don't want those in there. So what I was originally going to do was Try to put in one side and try to stuff it down in there, but guess what? There's an easier way to do it. Ta da! And there it is. Which is good because it took forever to get the other one off. So, gotta make sure it's all the way at the top. Go ahead and shut the door. See what it looks like. A 
Well, it's definitely better. You still see in there, though. I need to adjust that a little bit. But other than that, um, that's definitely an improvement. All right, we got the other side done. It looks great. The reason being is because this is the old one. There was absolutely nothing left out of it, just a piece of metal. So, I need to pop back in if you look. No more gap. So that should see all. And there's that right there. So, there it is. Now the only piece I'm missing is this piece right here. I don't know really, I mean, is there a piece right here? I'm assuming there is, so um, let me know if you can find it.